We all hope we are never in an active shooter situation, but it is important to be prepared just in case. So this week we set in on an active shooter training in Colfax. It was just years ago someone was killed by an active shooter in the area. But when I lift this up, I want you to run. We are taking you inside active shooter training at the Colfax Chamber of Commerce. Experts say the first thing to remember is run away from the sound of gunshots and call 911. If you get yourself in a room with someone and somebody bangs and says, hey, let me in, let me in, let me in, you do not open the door. Frankly, if you can't run and you can't hide, we're now going to go into the next scenario, and that is you fight. The trainer reminding those in the room, there's power in numbers. Find something to throw at the suspect. Okay, I haven't pulled it out yet. I'm not a shooter yet. Now. Just having things coming at you, it's very disorienting, okay? If there are several of you throwing cans, keep throwing cans. Look for things like a fire extinguisher that can be used as a weapon and also provide possible cover for you and others to run to safety. We don't know when this is going to happen or where it's going to happen, and we don't want people to be paranoid. We want people to be prepared and not scared. Lori Osmond with Damsels in Defense hosted the training. I mean, we had a shooting years ago um, at the health department in Grass Valley, and people had to hide. The guy came in and he killed an innocent 19 year old that was filling in for the day. Um, so, I mean, you just never know what kind of scenario you're going to be in. She's talking about 19 year old Laura Wilcox, one of the three killed in 2001 when a man opened fire first at the mental health building in Nevada City and then at a Grass Valley restaurant. To this day, Lori brings bulletproof items for purchase to her training events. And so this is something that can slip in a purse, in a backpack in a briefcase, anything you're carrying to protect yourself um, from bullets. To learn more about ways to keep you and your Lori, family safe, Lori says you can visit safetymama.com.